What's up and welcome to Jakarta, Indonesia. My name is Luke Martin with ChopstickTravel.com and today is day two of exploring this incredible city. We had an amazing time yesterday and found some awesome food. If you didn't see the video already, make sure you check it out. The link will be in the description box below. So today we're going on another full day of eating. We're gonna do a little bit of sightseeing as well. We are now just in a place called Pasar Baru which is the new market here in Jakarta and it's just packed with lots of shopping and lots of food. We've got a couple of restaurants picked out for our breakfast. Yeah, we're just gonna check out this Pasar Baru. So let's go and explore. So there is a very famous Chinese style noodle shop right up here that we really want to try out. It's a really old restaurant, popular spot, and it's down this really cool little alley. So we're coming up on it now and we're going to order up some bak mi. All right, we have our bowl of noodles here, and this is, a, as I mentioned, a super popular restaurant. It's called Bakmi Aboen, and it's been open since 1962, and it serves this Indonesian Chinese-style noodles. So check these out here. We've got the, uh, this is called the Bakmi Special, and it's got pieces of cha shao on top here, and underneath you can see the shu yuk, the crispy, pork belly and then there's some braised uh, pork I believe as well or maybe that's tofu actually and then some mushrooms there's some vegetables under here and then the noodles on the bottom and actually the soup is served on the side so we've got like a light broth over here just a couple of green onions in it and I'm actually just gonna pour that into my noodles all right and then we're definitely gonna want to mix those up and this just looks really good these are handmade noodles and man I just love a good bowl of noodles even for breakfast so let's mix these up and then we'll try them out mm. Mm. Those have a really amazing kind of milk feel to them. They're perfectly cooked and nice and kind of bouncy. And then that piece of crispy pork belly, the skin on the outside was nice and crispy and then the inside is nice lean meat. The broth is actually, I think it's like a fish based broth. It's got a little bit of a seafood flavor to it. It's light though and only a little bit salty. Pretty simple bowl of noodles but just done correctly and it tastes really good. Yeah, these are, these are addicting for sure. I'm actually just going to try a piece of the cha shao by itself here. And you can see this is like nice and red braised pork. Now let's try that. Mm. Oh, it's very sweet actually. The outside is very sweet. It's almost like honey glazed and it's really saturated with that broth. So there's a couple condiments on the table, but the one that looks best is this one right here. It's kind of like an orange colored chili vinegar, I believe. So I'm gonna take some of that, get some of the chili from the bottom and put that right in my noodles. Maybe another little bit. And oh, I can smell that already. It smells very um, spicy, but also kind of makes my eyes water from that vinegar. Uh, mix this guy up. Oh man, this is a really good bowl of noodles. Like I said, it's simple, but when done correctly, the flavors are really pronounced and delicious. So let's try that with a little bit of that spicy sauce and a piece of cha sha. It kind of hits you right in the back of the throat and it does a really good job contrasting the sweetness of that cha sha with a little bit of like acidity from that vinegar. Finished off with our breakfast. That was a super satisfying bowl of bak mi. Uh, that is good at any time of day. Right down an alley off of Pasar Baru. So we are going to uh, actually now I think walk to the Merdeka Square where there is the National Monument and show you guys that, one of the most famous attractions in all of Jakarta. On our way 
to Merdeka Square, we notice a street vendor selling something pretty interesting. This is deep fried bread fruit. So we ordered up a slice of this. I've actually never tried this before, so it should be interesting. Um, yeah, it's quite hefty actually, it's quite heavy. And it's just lightly deep fried and I don't think there's any batter whatsoever. So let's try this. Mm. It's kind of like a cross between a potato and a banana. It's really starchy. Mm. It's pretty good. It's definitely filling. So we actually just jumped inside a little tuk-tuk here. Uh, the walk was a little bit farther than we thought, and it is just blazing hot here in Jakarta. So we're gonna enjoy, enjoy this little tuk-tuk ride to the National Monument. Like I see. Yeah. All right, we are here. Not too bad. It was just about a five-minute ride, and we're gonna check out the monument. So, unbeknownst to us, there's actually a protest going on here at the National Monument, Merdeka Square. So it's kind of closed down. Um, there's a lot of police here. It's probably not somewhere you want to hang out all day so I think we're gonna just uh, look at the square or look at the monument from afar and probably be on our way um, it's because of today is Labor Day and apparently all these different groups are protesting here uh, coming from different cities I'm not exactly sure but protesting the government and um, yeah there's supposed to be an election next year too so it's an important uh, time for them to protest so we're gonna just kind of keep going there's a place that we picked out that we want to have some ice cream <laughs> so that sounds a little bit more uh, relaxing than this so let's go there now Okay, that was a little bit hectic trying to get out of the protest, but we made it to the restaurant that we want to order some dessert, some ice cream. So this place is called Ragusa Ice Italia, and it is famous for serving ice cream. And this is totally homemade ice cream, so check this out here. I actually ordered the one that's called the spaghetti ice cream. So he took vanilla ice cream and sort of fed it through this device that makes it into these long strands, almost like noodles. And then he's topped it with, I think that's, that's either palm sugar or probably chocolate actually. And then some crushed peanuts. And then I'm not even sure what those are, some little candies. And man, it is so hot in Jakarta. So there's nothing more I want right now than a nice cold ice cream. Okay, let's just get a huge bite, try to get everything in it. That's gonna be good. Homemade ice cream. This is seriously so popular. So many people gave me the recommendation to try this place, so let's try. Mm. Oh, it is really good. It's like silky, silky smooth. And because he made it into those kind of noodle shaped, it really kind of just disintegrates in your mouth very quickly. Wow, that's good. It's not as like dense as I thought. It's really creamy, like a soft serve ice cream. And then nice with those peanuts. I guess that that's just some like chewy candies on top and then chocolate too. That is really good. Mm. This place has been in operation since I think 1932 or something like that. It's really, really old and the recipe has stayed the same the whole time. This is authentic homemade ice cream and it's housed in this really cool kind of heritage building. And we also ordered up the uh, banana split. So there is a banana on the bottom and then same toppings, but this time we've got some chocolate, strawberry and vanilla ice cream. I'm gonna try a little bit of chocolate. Try to get a piece of banana as well. Let's try that. Mm. Oh, 
Oh, I prefer that one. The banana with it is so good. Okay, finished off with our little ice cream stop. That was super refreshing and good. I can see what, what all the hype is over this place. That is some quality ice cream. So I think we're gonna head back to our Airbnb. Just take a little break before we head back out tonight to do some more snacking. So we are finished taking a little break back at our Airbnb. We have come back out for dinner. It's about 6 p.m. and we have come to have nasi goreng or fried rice. So we're at a place called nasi goreng camping seban seri and they serve a really uh, popular fried rice with goat. So we're gonna go order it up and I can already smell it. It smells incredible. <laughs> They are just making up a fresh batch of the nasi garang camping the goat and he started out with a ton of that goat meat and I don't even know how many spices, at least 10 or more different spices and huge quantities of spice as well. And then three bottles of ketchup menace, the thick soy sauce and yeah, he's just been letting that goat meat simmer away and all those beautiful spices. <laughs> So after he added two massive bamboo steamers of rice, he added just as many spices as he did initially to the meat, but to the rice this time. And then a couple extra bottles of ketchup menace, and then I think some broth as well. And now he's just frying that all up, and that just smells so incredible. That is a massive preparation of fried rice. Okay, we are sitting down, we ordered up our fried rice. They have a massive wok full of rice. One of them is just seriously towering full of fried rice, and the other one, he's serving up tons of hungry customers so we've ordered up two different kinds of fried rice here we have the nasi goreng uh, kamping which is with the goat and then it's served with sort of some like crispy crackers and some fried shallots on top this is like a little salad of cabbage there's some chili peppers in there I think it might be pickled there's cucumbers and also carrots and then over here this is the ayam with chicken same thing as the the goat version, but just with chicken. So let's uh, let's dig into this and try it out. So there is huge chunks of goat in there. You can see some big pieces of meat. I'm gonna get one of these like crackers, some of the rice for sure, and a piece of goat and try that. Mm. Oh. It is a little bit spicy and you can definitely taste like smokiness from the wok that he's cooking that in. The goat is actually surprisingly super, super tender and juicy. I'm actually gonna go in for another big chunk of goat. Oh yeah, look at that. There's huge chunks in there. Let's get a double. Oh man. That's like three pieces in one, but that's okay. Let's try that. Mm. 
Actually had to use two people to move the pot of nasi goreng onto the hot uh, flame because it's just so heavy and massive. Okay, the goat version is very good. Let's try the ayam chicken version. Again, same thing, fried rice, cracker, and then a big piece of chicken here. Let's try that. Mm. Mm. I really like it with those crackers in there. I'm not exactly sure what the cracker is made out of, but it gives it a nice crunch, contrasting the soft rice. But really, I'd have to say like the dominant flavor is the lemongrass. It's really strong, but it's really like a wholesome flavor. And this is some good fried rice. You can taste that wok hay from that hot wok they're cooking it on. Okay, let's try this salad next. There is some chili on top here, so this might be a little bit spicy. And get a little bit of everything. I'm pretty sure the base is cabbage. Let's try that. Mm. Mm. That is quite spicy. There's a lot of vinegar going on in there too. I think everything's a slightly pickled, but it's still nice and crisp. Oh, that goes well. It contrasts the smokiness of this fried rice, but I can't get over this. I'm just loving this. This is super hearty, bold fried rice, but really delicious. And also contrasting it all with this sour uh, pickled salad goes really well. Actually, just gonna put some right in there. Piece of goat. Get it all in one bite. Mm. That's super satisfying, addictive. <laughs> Okay, that nasi goreng was really good. Sabrina and I both agreed that that may have been the best fried rice we've actually ever had in our life. We just walked like two minutes down the street and we are at the satay shop now. So finishing our night off with some satay ayam, which is chicken satay, and also we've got a tea bottle, which is just a bottle of tea. So let's try this. Mm. Yeah. Refreshing. There are literally millions of satay shops in Jakarta. You can just walk down the street and see at least 10 of them. So we just poked into the one that was right next to uh, the nasi goreng shop. And just check out these guys here. These look really good. Uh, this is 10 pieces of satay ayam, chicken satay. And then they are smothered in that peanut sauce. So different than the satay padang that we had yesterday. And then also served with some cucumbers. Let's try that. Yeah, that's just classic good. I think that they're marinated with a little bit of turmeric and a little bit sour too. I wonder if that's a little bit of tamarind in there. And then those cucumbers are just nice and crisp. Super smoky too. I'm gonna chase that all with the black tea. Oh yeah, that's a perfect street side snack. Finishing off our night perfectly with the saute. Oh man, today was an amazing day of eating, especially that nasi goreng. That literally blew my mind how much rice they were frying up there. Those were mountains of rice. So, so far Jakarta is just a food paradise. We are loving it here. And that's gonna be it for today, day two. Uh, we're here for two more days, so make sure you stay tuned for the next videos. And the link for yesterday's video is in the description down below. Uh, leave me any comments you have down below. I'd love to hear what you guys think so far of this Indonesian series. And also make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe because we get a lot more videos coming up. And stay tuned. So thanks for watching guys. Bye-bye.